Hi, no, just Henry here. So today we are going to do a Kim Kardashian inspired look. Um, that's a really big trend right now, the highlight, the contour. So I'm gonna show you my version of the Kim Kardashian look. So I hope you guys like it. First things first, we're gonna start off with moisturizing the skin. We're gonna use Embryo Lisa's Cream Concentrate Moisturizer. I like putting this on a little metal palette and then using a synthetic brush to put it all over the skin to hydrate it and prep the skin for foundation. Now for the brows, we are going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. Oh, that's a tongue twister. And uh, we're going to use an angled brush. Now with the angled brush, when I choose my shade and I start to fill in the brows, as you can see, I'm starting a little bit lower. I'm doing this because I want to make sure that brow is nice and filled all the way through. This is going to make the brow look a little bit thicker than what her normal brow looks like. And as you'll see, I'm doing strokes with my brush. So it's not a line, it's small little strokes. With my Smith Cosmetics spoolie, I'm going to sh brush the brows and the reason why I'm doing this is I brush them upwards to make sure that I didn't miss any spots. You don't want your brows to look like they have gaps in them. To set the brows, I'm going to use Tint and Set from Hot Makeup. This color is auburn and I'm going to use this because it's going to darken the brows just a little bit but it's also going to fill them in and keep them set. Time for foundation. Now here's a little tip for you guys. If you mix face and body foundation in any foundation that dries to a satin or matte, what this is, does is it helps your face hold the glow. A lot of times with liquid foundations, they dry to a matte, so then your face looks too dry. And for this look, we wanna make sure we have the glow even before we put the shine. And now for contour. We're gonna use Makeup Forever's new Ultra HD Foundation. This shade is Y505. We're gonna use it along the sides of the cheeks and put it all the way up into the hairline. We're gonna kind of blend it out a little bit with the brush and then we're gonna get a wet beauty blender and we're really gonna buff it into the skin with that. Now if there's one thing everybody does with these Kim Kardashian inspired look, it's that contour. So we're focusing on the contour, so we're gonna bring it to the nose now. With the same color and a flat brush, we're gonna use it along both sides of the nose and we're gonna blend it out. This is gonna make the nose look more slender, more defined, and it's really gonna highlight the bridge of it. Now for under the eyes, we're gonna use LA Girls Pro Concealer. This is the yellow corrector concealer that just came out. It's one of my favorites. It has a really nice, beautiful yellow tint to it. And with all these looks now, you know everybody likes that nice, bright under eye. Now to set this, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Powders. This one is medium golden. I love these powders because they're perfect for flash photography because they don't whiten out the face. So I get a brush, medium size, a blush brush or powder brush, and I slightly press the powder onto the eye. Don't move it too much or else it's gonna settle into the lines. All these warm tones, you wanna make sure you add a little bit of color. Doing so is gonna help your face look alive instead of looking too warm or too golden. So I'm using Hot Makeup's Professional Red Carpet Ready Blush in the color Pool Party and I'm just applying it to the apples of the cheeks. This is gonna give some color and liveliness to her face. Now for the highlight. If you have not used Max Highlighter in Soft and Gentle, you are missing out. It's one of highlighting staples. It's one of the first highlighters that I ever used. Use a powder brush with it, apply it to the apples of the cheeks. If you haven't used it before, you're gonna fall in love. Also taking some of the excess, I'm gonna apply it to the bridge of the nose and not just the apples of the cheeks. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more because I wanna make sure that light really hits it and it really brings out those cheekbones. With a new lip pencil, I'm gonna line the lips. Now the one thing about these Kardashian inspired looks is those overdrawn lips. So I'm going to draw on the line and then I'm gonna slowly start to draw above it. And this is gonna make the lip look fuller and give it more of a pout. And now for lipstick, we're using Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Poise. I love this, it's one of my go-to nude lip colors and we're gonna apply it with a flat brush. Now for lip gloss. Most people I don't see use this lip gloss. Believe me, it is the best investment you'll ever make. It's Max Luster Glass in the color Morning Glory. 
it has a pink hue, but it does not come off like that. It's gonna give your lips that beautiful shine. How can you have a Kim Kardashian inspired look without the product she made famous? This is Ben Nye's Banana Powder. We're gonna put this underneath the eyes. So this is gonna add a little bit of a highlight, but also it's gonna help us for any fallout that we might have when applying eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight Pencil. I'm gonna use this underneath the brows and one, it's going to not only add highlight on the brow bone, but it's gonna really define and shape the under part of that brow. It's actually gonna make them look a little bit fuller too. With a small tapered blending brush, I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit. You wanna keep the definition, but you don't want it to be too sharp. For an eyeshadow base, I'm using Max Paint Pot in the shade Constructivist. I'm gonna put this on and blend it out with a small eyeshadow brush. I'm also gonna take the same base and I'm gonna put it underneath the eye as well. And then I'm going to blend this all out with the blending brush. Here's a quick tip. Using MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus, I already have eyeshadow on my brushes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz it onto the brush and I'm gonna apply it directly onto the lids. This is gonna intensify the color, so when I blend it out, it doesn't look too ashy. And now with a small powder brush, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the Ben Nye powder. So now I'm gonna take a shimmery peachy tone eyeshadow. I'm gonna put it in the inner corner of the eyes. This is gonna help make the eye pop out. With the nude eyeshadow and a blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend the crease of the eye to help all of the transition from the eyeshadow to the eyebrow bone look seamless. For mascara, we're using Hot Makeup Professionals Fat Daddy Mascara. This is a serum mascara, so not only does it help your eyelashes grow, but it's a really dark, dark black. Here's a tip slash suggestion. You shouldn't be using mascaras on your clients, so I always keep with me disposable mascara wands. And then I bend them when applying because it makes it easier to apply the mascara to the bottom lashes. Now we're gonna use Blinking Butte Lashes in Samantha with velour individuals stacked on top of them. And one of my favorite tricks and tips, and you see this a lot with, with the Kardashian looks, is they get an eye cold pencil that's either beige or white, and they put it on their wa water line. What this is gonna do is really make the eye stand out. And if you've seen on some of my other videos, I do this to make the eyes bigger. Remember when you're putting on false eyelashes, sometimes the glue does not dry all the way black. So I like to take some eyeshadow and just go over the lash line to help darken it so you can't see any of the glue that hasn't dried to a full clear or black. And ta-da! <laughs> so this is our final look for our Kim K inspired uh, glam look. I hope you guys loved it. I had so much fun doing it. Thank you, Anna, for being my model. Love her to death. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Even if you have suggestions, let me know what you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye, you guys.